perfect 10. Another little musket ball. Tiny one. My usual size, though. Getting out for a quick afternoon, so I'm hoping to get a couple of things. Moving on. And musket ball number two. Same hole. They might have been next to each other. They might have been on top. And I just dug open and found it. All right, moving on. Number 10 is expecting a musket ball, but I believe I got a teeny tiny button here. Or, no, actually, I think it's a pin. Oh, I hope I didn't just scrape the rest of it away. Actually, it looks like a pin. Thought it was a button, but that has stuff on both sides. Yeah, it looks like a pen. I hope I didn't break off the end, but I probably did. I'll have to look back at the video and see. Yeah, I can see the little spot. So this would be Victorian because it's definitely copper. I would think it's copper, copper or brass was way down. Let me give you a bigger view. There we go. As you can see, it was a pin and I broke off the other side. So that piece is still here. I'm going to see if I can find it. Moving on. Hold number three. Another 10 under the root, of course. And it was a very jumpy signal, so I'm thinking there could be something else there as well. But, uh, give it a go. Moving on. And another musket ball. Oh crap, where'd it go? <laughs> Just had it here. Let me find it again real quick. Oh, it's right here somewhere. Crud, where'd it go? <laughs> like, tell me. Oh, here it is. There's another one, another 10. A little bit jumpy. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this open. That's number four. Oh, the pit looks like a D now. Cool. That's perfect. That's my name, Donna. <laughs> Guess now I have four little musket balls and a D pin. Moving on. Yep, that's it. Moving on. Another 910 right here. So I'm going to guess it's another musket ball. I got a live dig it for you. Oops, let me find it again. Right there. Shouldn't be deep. My shovel's out of commission right now. Oh, do I see rust? I think I see rust. So I'm thinking I don't have one this time. Nope. <laughs> Why is it? Curse of the live dig. Beautiful bottle cap. Move it on. Okay, I'm not sure if this is a bullet. What that is. It's really small. It's flat. Maybe it's a rivet or something. Bring up the usual 10. Thought I was going to get a musket ball. Okay, moving on. Another 910. Another musket ball. That's number five. Five for today. Moving on. Okay, I got another one of those nice 10 signals. Low tone. What should be a nice gold ring, right? But it's going to be another musket ball, I'm guessing. Oops, or a bottle cap because I'm going live. Or a bottle cap. Nope, it's not. Oh, it could be. That's not a bottle cap, but it is the innards of one, I believe. Oh, oh that's probably it. That is ringing up, so. <laughs> wow, I'm really good at these bottle cap things. Was that my 10? That was probably it. Because I went live, I would much rather have another one of those. Oh. There's still something down there, so it could be. Let's get that away from there. Okay, it's here, whatever it is. Oh, oh, it's a bullet this time. I don't know if that's old or not. It's green. Definitely a fired one. I think I'd rather have musket balls, personally. Okay, moving on. This is right up at 1213, so I'm hoping there's something else in the hole, because this is a BB. 
or it could be a teeny tiny basketball. So if there's anything else in there, but I don't feel anything else. Is that possible? That could be 11, 12, 13. Okay, so moving on. 10, 11, so I had to dig it. I don't know what that is. It's kind of like a button, a clip. Can't tell, but you can't let a 10, 11 go, even if you think it's another musket ball. Maybe it's a keyhole or part of a keyhole. Whatever that is, that's pretty cool. Okay, into the goodie bag. Moving on. Number six. This one rang up a nine. Real grunty, too. There's another one. Oh, something else still in the hole. Maybe. No, okay, I think it was my ten. Nope. <laughs> That's why I've got in a tin, so if I drop it, I could find it quicker. <laughs> Metal detecting. Not that, uh, never mind. That was silly. Moving on. Another one. <laughs> you can't not dig the tens, right? You gotta. So what is this? Number three, four, six, number seven of this size and the little BB. Gotta dig those tens. Moving on. Now this ring up a six sounded completely different so i'm wondering is that a new musket ball or and it's even a different color than the others and smaller so what do you think on that what is that i don't know moving on strange ring up 14. somebody deliberately cut a penny to look like this or maybe this is the innard of what was left that is a penny right i don't know I don't remember those words. Let me flip it over. Oops, come on back. Pictures, no, it's not. Pictures Union, what the heck is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it looked, I thought it was a penny, but. Oh yeah, I guess that's Pluribus. Okay, that's Pluribus, not pictures. Yeah, somebody cut the penny like that. There's nothing else in the hole. Okay, moving on. I found a button. I hang up a 15. And it's green. There's writing on it. I can't read it. Oops, let's get it again. No. Nope. Oh, it's got four buttonholes. So it can't be that old, can it, if it's got four buttonholes, even though it's green. Definitely have to clean that baby up, see what that says, what the writing is on it. Four hole button. When did they start making those? It was down, I don't know, about five inches. Definitely old though. Look how green it is. But we'll have to clean that up a little bit later and see what it says. Okay, moving on. And here's another one, a six. But it's one of those light colored ones. Oh no, what did I do to it? I broke it. Oh no, wait a minute, is that a seed? <laughs> you know what, wait a minute, I think that's a seed, that's not mine. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> All right, let's see what this six is. That's, I wonder if the other one in my uh, pouch is actually a seed too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, never mind. I don't think you care about the seed. I'm just assuming it's foil because it's a six. I just thought, get the crap out of the ground, you know, environmental cleanup. That's our job. Get the place nice and clean. There it is, bottle cap. As a six, who would expect that? I love the sound of church bells. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, bottle cap, moving on. I love my husband. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Oh, I even have colors in there. I am good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Pays to be married to a man that can weld. <laughs> that even looks beautiful. How handsome is that? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I was on my hands and knees yesterday digging and that really stinks when you're used to standing and doing it. Not to mention these make much better plugs than hands and knees. 
Thank you, sweetie. I love you. Probably nothing, but this sounds really good. It's ringing up between 29 and 33, so it's probably just a nail. But it could also be a quarter, large scent, button, buckle. There's a lot of things it could be. So let's just see if we can find whatever it is. All right, definitely not a large scent. I didn't see any large scent moving around there. Okay. Or it could be one of these, like it always is. Like it always is. A nail. <laughs> Alrighty then, moving on, you up a 10. I'm guessing the musket ball. There's a lot of them here. Could be bottle cap too. There's a lot of those as well. Oh no, I see rust. So I'm guessing, yep, bottle cap. Moving on, this bullet. No idea how old that is. Get a better close up of it. Ring up a 12. Mm -hmm.